Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, we're talking about how to use ERC20 tokens as payments in your applications. So before we do that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and click the like button down below. That really helps these videos get found so that more people can learn how to build blockchain technology. So I'm answering this question today that I got in my email from Amir. So you guys can feel free to email me with my email address down below. I can't always get back to every question, so I am trying to use my YouTube channel to uh, answer some of the questions that I do get. Um, but Amir asked this question about how to accept ERC-20 tokens as payments inside of his app. So I'll just read Amir's question here. He says, hey, Gregory, I uh, was training with Codrone cryptocurrency on Ethereum. Uh, he, was, he was following along with me and he made an ERC-20 token. So now he's going to make a payment gateway for his tokens so that he can use it in his Android app. So please provide a tutorial on this. Thanks for that question, Amir. Um, so I'm going to try to do my best to kind of guide you through this from a high level so I don't quite have time to make a step-by-step -step tutorial on this. But I'll give you, you know, a high-level overview of what you can do in order to accept ERC-20 tokens as payment in your DAP. So for anybody who's watching who doesn't know uh, about ERC-20 tokens, basically it's an a it's a token standard on Ethereum that allows you to create your own token without building your own blockchain with a smart contract. And ERC-20 is just a standard that specifies how these tokens work so that they can be like traded on cryptocurrency exchanges and, uh, you know, can be supported by, you know, Ethereum wallets and things like that. And also, you know, Amir referenced uh, this Codrone cryptocurrency on Ethereum in his question. And that's a, you know, an eight hour tutorial that I have. Uh, video tutorial and I also have a you know a step-by-step -step tutorial on my website a written tutorial about how you can do that if you want to follow along. So how would you do this? How would you create an ERC20 token payment gateway in your DAP? Well there's a couple different things you can do with this. First let's look at how you would just do it with plain old ether, right? So I'm going to share my screen here. Um, so basically, you know, if you're going to do this with just regular Ether, you know, Ethereum's native cryptocurrency, not like a token or anything like that, you know, you would basically just be taking uh, some Ethereum or Ether in a wallet like this, and you would um, basically just send it from one account to another. You'd be creating a transaction on the blockchain, and that transaction, once it's completed, you would know that ether was sent from you know my account to yours like if i was going to send you ether and you could do this in your application where you could just you know send ether um, to another account and you would just wait for that transaction to be finished and once it was finished you would just check the balance of the receiving account um and you would just check that it had increased and that there was a transaction that corresponded to the person who sent it right so that's a high level overview of how you do it in that case but this is different right so what Amir's talking about is actually taking um, a wallet like this, an Ethereum wallet, and sending it, uh, you know, sending ERC-20 tokens, right, like this. So basically, instead of sending Ether, we have to make a call to a smart contract in order to, you know, send these tokens. And they could be either going to another smart contract or they could be going to another account connected to the network, all right? So let me explain all that. So earlier, remember I said ERC-20 tokens are standard. It's just a standard that specifies how they work in smart contracts, right? And so whenever you're, you know, um, doing that, I'll actually pull up an ERC-20 token right here on my screen. I'll just show you the code. So here's the code to an ERC-20 token. This is actually the same token out of uh, the Code Drone Cryptocurrency on Ethereum uh, tutorial. It's called DAP token. So inside of this smart contract, it has a special function called transfer. And that's how you send tokens from one account to another, okay? So whenever you trigger this transfer event, you know, an account does this, it calls a transfer function, it sends a transaction, it specifies who it's going to and, you know, the value uh, as expressed in the number of tokens and the smart contract is responsible for transferring that balance from one to another. Right. So whenever you're sending ERC-20 tokens from one account to another, you're just calling this transfer function, right? And that's going to update the balance of whoever you're sending it to and also your balance. It's going to increase theirs. It's going to decrease yours. So inside of this function, you can also see that a transfer event is called. And that's something that you see up here in the code, right? Event. All ERC-20 tokens must trigger this transfer event in order to be ERC-20 compliant. 
So these are two pieces that we'll need to know about in order to uh, kind of build this token payment gateway, the transfer function and the transfer event inside the ERC-20 token. So here's how I build this thing. So basically you need a few different pieces of information. You need to know who the user is and what their Ethereum address is. So you'd want to have that registered in your app somehow. Either they would authenticate through your app and provide their Ethereum address, right? That's the first piece. You need to know their address. You also need to know where the tokens are going to, what's the final destination of the tokens that you want to receive the payment to. That could be either a wallet or a smart contract, okay? So those are the first two pieces, where the tokens are coming from and where they're going to. These are both addresses. So then once you have that information, you want your app to be able to check the balance of the account that the tokens are going to, whether it's a smart contract or um, a, uh, you know, an external account. Your app needs to check this balance and one, it needs to check if it changes. It can do this a couple of ways. It can simply pull the blockchain and just kind of keep reading this value, um, or it could subscribe to an event on the smart contract, right? And so remember when I showed you the code a minute ago, like up here on my screen where I show you this triggers a transfer event, you can subscribe to this event of this transfer function um, to listen for changes. So you could basically listen for changes that, you know, some tokens were transferred. And if you look up here in this transfer event, you can see these things that say indexed, all right? And so what that does is it basically allows you to filter the events from the smart contract um, to, you know, only show you events that you care about. So you could basically only filter events that were coming to you, transfer events where the tokens were coming to you. And you could also specify, you know, this person, this other account, you could, there. it's also indexed, the from fields indexed. So you could basically say, only show me the events that happen from this account to my account or just my account. And you can filter through that list and find, you know, transfer events that happen to them or happen from them, excuse me. So basically you could just listen for those events in real time and then once those events were triggered, you know this person sent you tokens, and then you could basically, you know, see um, the value field also in that transfer event, how many tokens they sent you, you know, was it the right amount? And you could just check that on the fly. And if that passed your conditions for payment, then you could unlock whatever you wanted to in your app for this user in your application. If they're buying something from you, you could basically say, okay, my payment was accepted. Now we will, you know, process, you'll process their order and ship them some item or, you know, now they have access to a members only area or, you know, now they have whatever, whatever you're selling, whatever you're, you know, accepting ERC-20 token payments for. So that's one way is to potentially listen to that event in real time. Now, another way is that you can actually get the entire contract event stream, right? That's a way of basically pulling data from the blockchain from a smart contract that you could index in your own database and you could keep a history. Um, and that would show you all of the token payments that happen between those two accounts or to your account. And so you could verify another way that, um, you know, payments were made and you could store this data in your own database and, you know, uh, query it in SQL and things like that. So that's another way that you can pull that data out and verify this person paid you. You could just run queries on a database to see if that transaction exists, and you could just compare that value to what you actually get from the blockchain, and that's where it's coming from in the first place. So um, you should also check out my uh, series on Web3.js um, where I show you how to do this kind of stuff. I show you how to pull the event stream from smart contracts. I show you how to subscribe to events from smart contracts to listen to changes that will help you build something like this. And if you're trying to handle your own ERC-20 token payment gateway in your application, that'd be a big help in addition to this knowledge that I've shared in the video. All right, so that's all I got for today, Amir. I hope you, hope you found that helpful. I hope you all found that helpful. Uh, if you're curious about how to build ERC-20 token payments in your application. So if there's anything that's unclear um, or you wanna know more, feel free to leave a comment down below. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.